Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to change the filters in a Viqua VT1 DWS drinking water system like this one here. Now, if you're not sure how these systems work, um, you may want to check uh, one of my vi videos uh, highlighted up here that shows how uh, ultraviolet system works. It may help you in um, conceptualizing the whole thing. Okay, so how often do you need to change these filters? Well, if this is used year round in your home, then once a year definitely you have to change the two filters, clean the quartz sleeve, and replace the ultraviolet light. If you use it seasonally, like in a cottage or a cabin type application, um, then every second year you'd have to change the ultraviolet light, but every year um, at the beginning or the end of the season, you'd have to change the two filters and clean the quartz sleeve. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is shut off the water to the whole system. And uh, so this would be the water in the on position. If you turn this 90 degrees, like so, that shuts the water off to the system. Once you've shut it off, then you have to release the pressure. So you'd have a faucet installed, something like this. So what you would do is you would open the faucet and uh, by pulling the handle down, and then you'd release the pressure and the water would flow down to just a trickle. So at that point, all the pressure is, is, is gone. So then now what we need to do is open up the filter housings. So um, depending on where your system is mounted, sometimes it's easier to actually remove the system, lift it up and take it out and do the uh, filter change, or you could do it in place like I'm gonna do it here. So then the first thing you're gonna do is use the, um, the wrench to unscrew the filter housing. Oh, and uh, any, anytime now you can unplug the system. Um, we're not gonna do the electrical till the end, but uh, you can unplug the system. All right, so then what you're gonna do is unscrew the filter housing. And inside you'll see the filter. Obviously this is a brand new one. Um, you would throw this one out. You would clean out the housings, wash them out well, and then uh, there's an O-ring at the top here. It's always best if you lubricate that with a plumber's clear silicone grease. If you're not sure where to get it, we offer it on our website. You can click here to get some more information and about also how to use it. So then you pop in the new filter, put this back on here, and tighten that up. So you tighten it hand tight, and then give it a little bit extra with the wrench, just to make sure that, uh, that it seats in there. Okay, so you do the same with the carbon filter. That would be next. And then we'd move up to the ultraviolet light. So, um, so then you just squeeze these two clips at the top here, and when you squeeze, squeeze them, it releases the lamp, and you pull it out like so. And then uh, what you can do is uh, disconnect the lamp. I've put on my gloves now because we're gonna be handling the uh, ultraviolet lamp, and uh, we don't wanna handle it with our bare skin. Also, um, you have to be careful with these lamps. They do have mercury in them, so you have to be careful how you dispose of it, and also how you handle it, you don't break it. So, um, so then you grab the ceramic part at the end, and you kind of wiggle the end off it, just pulling straight out. It comes out uh, fairly easily, as you can see. And then you pull out the lamp. And uh, like I say, it is, um, need to handle that carefully, so I'll just set that aside. And then, so now there's two nuts on either end. Normally they're just hand tight, as these ones are. So you unscrew those. And the reason we're doing this is because there's a quartz sleeve inside here. And you can see the spring on the one end here. And on this end, so there's a quartz sleeve inside here, so we have to remove that quartz sleeve so we can clean it. So if you slide it a little bit back and forth, it loosens it up. Once it's loose, you can pull off the O-ring from both sides. And you can remove the quartz sleeve out to either side, but here we'll just pull it out this side. So it's, it's very important that you clean the quartz sleeve. Um, with a system like this, the water flows over the quartz sleeve, the light is inside here. So if this quartz sleeve becomes um, covered with hard water or iron or something like that, then it's like creating a curtain uh, over top of the light and then the light won't work. So it's very important that you clean this. And like I say, a product like vinegar, CLR, um, any of those kinds of products will clean it. But you need to get it perfectly clean. If you don't get it perfectly clean, you need to replace it. All right, so then we carefully slide it back in here. So again, this is very fragile, so you need to be very careful how you handle it. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that it sticks out equidistance on both ends. So um, these O-rings here, it's always best if you put a plumber's clear silicone grease on them. And again, I've got a, a link up here that we talked about earlier. 
where you can see um, how that product works and also um, you can order it from our website and then we just carefully slide on the o-rings if you don't have any clear plumber silicone grease you can use water um, just so that the o-rings slide um, and again so we want to make sure the uh, quartz sleeve protrudes equidistance from either end and then the one with the spring goes back on this side and these uh, nuts on the end here they just you just tighten them hand tight one there's the one on this end all right so now we grab the new UV lamp and again you can see the ends are keyed so they're different lengths so you need to make sure you match that up with the power supply so we slide that in there carefully and again we're handling it with our gloves or a cloth if you don't have gloves and uh, so again, you need to key this up. Uh, the long one is at this side. And again, it just slides on. And then this part, you put it in until it clicks and then it holds it in place. Okay, great, we've replaced the two filters. We cleaned the quartz sleeve. We've, um, we've uh, replaced the lamp. And uh, so now we're good to go. So the, the next step will be is you'd plug it in to apply power to the whole thing. I usually wait 30 to 60 seconds to make sure the UV lamp comes up to uh, full power. You'll see the, uh, the LED on here will go green to show you that it's working. Once you've done that, then what you can do is you can open this up part way, just so the water flows through. And you're going to check for leaks. Um, once the full unit is pressurized and there are no more leaks, then you can open this up all the way. Um, once you've done that, you can open up the faucet. Now you are going to get some gray water coming out of this initially, and that's the carbon fines that are being released from the uh, carbon filter. Just let it run for a minute or so and it will clear right up. Um, once it's cleared up, it's uh, good to go. The other thing uh, you should be doing with this is uh, disinfecting it. And again, I got a great video up here that shows you how to disinfect uh, this system. If you're looking at purchasing one of these systems at discount pricing, just click the link up here. It'll take you right to our uh, e-commerce store. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos that become available on our channel. If you'd like some more information about this product or any of the other water treatment products we have available, you can go to thewaterestore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.